Let's see what's happening with U.S. markets now. Bloomberg's Jenna Dagenhart is standing by in New York. And Jenna, one of the best sell-side calls in history is now over. Walk us through that call on GE and some of the latest moves. So two and a half years ago, a J.P. Morgan analyst, Steve Tusa, uh, made a, quite a remarkable call. He said that he would rate GE underweight. He was the only analyst of 19 analysts to give it this rating. Most of them had buy ratings. And uh, this is a company that was worth $300 billion at the time. It was uh, a key part of American corporate history for more than 100 years. Uh, but he saw a few things he didn't like. And we all know that his call proved to be extremely correct. And um, since May 2016, when he made that call, gee, he has tumbled 78% wiping out more than $200 billion of market cap. But uh, that call did come to a close this morning. We saw uh, Tusa reverse his stance. He now gives GE a neutral rating, and we saw the stock surge on that news. And just lastly, private equity firms spending the most since 2007. Who is leading the buyout? Steve Schwarzman's Blackstone Group led this group. He, uh, his Blackstone had $17 billion um, in a deal buying a unit of Thomson Reuters. Also at the top of the list, we saw KKR with a deal for $10 billion for Envision Healthcare. And uh, in total, PE firms announced $448 billion worth of deals through December 7th, according to Bloomberg data. That's up about 8% from a year prior. But it's still nowhere near the boom years we saw a decade ago. In 2007, PE firms posted about $650 billion worth of deals. But uh, we could see a spending spree in the future from PE because they're sitting on quite a bit of dry powder right now. PE firms have about $1.5 trillion of undeployed capital. And uh, we will also have to watch what markets do. Um, if we see any more market turbulence, that could affect price levels and make things uh, relatively more cheap. That was Bloomberg's Jenna Dagenhart, live for us in New York. When you